What is going on everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Spectacle Island 2.0 settlement tour. And basically, in Spectacle Island 1.0, you've seen the small, not really defended, not really fortified, just whatever the heck that was in Spectacle Island 1.0. Uh, but anyway, yeah, just a lot of people were requesting that I show you guys already what I was working with with Spectacle Island 1.0. So I just go ahead and throw that out there and show you guys the, the progress that I had. But anyway, this place is looking a whole lot different than what it was. And basically 1.0 is completely gone. I tore it down and I built up from scratch. So instead of just babbling on about it, I'm actually going to show you guys what I've been working with. So if we turn around right now, you can already see right off the bat that this place looks a little crazy. Uh, I really do like what I've been doing here. I got a little bit of the inspiration from No Respawn. You'll see later in the video where I show you guys what's going on with that. But anyway, as you can see, the gate right here in front is like pretty much the only way in. But there is a back a back area, but it's you know it's just whatever. But anyway, just the front gate here. As you can see, I had a little light looking over this area, just so if anybody does come in the front gate, I can see who's coming in. And if we move on from that, I'm going to show you guys the mayor's house first, which I wanted to save for the last. But anyway, this place is just so glorious to me, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right away. As you can see in the top left corner, in the top right corner of this building, there is two heavy laser turrets, and in the bottom left and the bottom right on the patio, there is actually two regular turrets. So if anybody ever does manage to break into my settlement, getting to this main house is pretty much impossible. So yeah, to hop right into this building, we're just going to go ahead and check out the interior. I am still working on the interior of most of the buildings that are here, but some of them are completed. I'll tell you which ones are incomplete, and you'll see that in a little, a little bit here. But anyway, as you can see, there's not really much going on in this corner. Again, still working on it. And if we go over here, I got a bobblehead stand, some uh, magazine racks, and there's just kind of like a uh, little bit of a storage area. Not really like a, uh, like an actual storage room, but this is just kind of like it's just miscellaneous storage. Just throw some crap in the chest, who knows? But anyway, looking uh, looking on from here, you can see that I have all my crafting stations on this wall. As you can see, I've got the uh, chemistry station right there. I have the cooking stove right here. I got a shelf for weapon displays because it's right next to the weapon workbench. And I also have an armor workbench over here. So moving on from this area, we're going to go right on upstairs. And I'm going to show you guys what's going on up here. And as the mayor's house, you would think that this uh, the mayor would be pretty wealthy. So I have some pretty expensive paintings on the wall pretty much all throughout the uh, second floor of this building. As you can see so far, there's just a good bit of them around. This is the living room area. I got some pretty fancy looking couches. I got a pretty fancy looking couch and a fancy looking chair right here for the mayor. Because again, I'm the mayor. <laughs> Why not? Anyway, yeah, as you can see, living room area. And if we go out here on the back patio, as you can see, this is uh, that little building right there is actually where all of my generators are. And I actually took that little circuit breaker all the way from the ship. And you can actually move it. And it doesn't really place that well. It kind of places like halfway, like... Half of the thing is in the ground wherever you place it, so I have it placed in there. You'll see it hanging down to the bottom of the building whenever we get over there. But yeah, right now, as you can see, I got a little bench right here to look over the area. Just kind of look at that cargo ship that's so ugly over there. I wish I could get rid of it. But anyway, moving on from that, I got a little table right here where I can eat if I want to. Right out here on the back porch. It looks really cool. just really like it. And yeah, you can see the Pridwin from here. It looks really awesome. And if we move on from there, we can go over here into the actual storage room, which is kind of like the armory area, I guess you could call it, because this place has like a really... just. The way I made it, you can like put weapons along this table right here, and just looks it would look really awesome. So I plan on doing that in the future, just putting some like maybe a fat man up here, some just heavy weapons on top of here, it would just look really crazy. But anyway, moving on from this little armory area, just as you can see here, just moving on, this is the front porch right here. You can kind of see an overview of the settlement. This is why I call it the mayor's house because again, look at this, look at this view. It's crazy. You get to see pretty much every building out there. And yeah, so anyway, not spoiling too much of that, we're going to go back in here and look at the bedroom area. Again, got some expensive paintings on the wall, and this right here is my bed where I sleep. Anyway, moving on from the mayor's house, if we go over to the right here, as you can see, this is kind of like the mayor's podium, where he gives speeches to all the settlers that live in the settlement. So basically, if I go up here, go on top of this table, and all my settlers gather around, just like Hancock did in Good Neighbor on his balcony, he gave a, a speech to all the people who lived in Good Neighbor, and they did some, like, said some stuff for, like, for the people, and I don't know, some crazy stuff like that. But yeah, all the settlers get, settlers would gather around right here, and I would just give a speech, but who knows. I guess that's good for like role playing purposes, but you know, whatever. And if we go upstairs into here, this is like the little clubhouse area, which actually kind of is an extension of the bar, just in case. Like, say if you buy a drink and you want to come over here and just chill out, you can. But yeah, there's a little uh, living room area right here, so all the settlers can just kind of sit down, and watch their TV. There's some beds over here for like a hotel, hotel esque like feel or whatever, just if you want to come in here and lay down and just rest it out or whatever. And I got a jukebox over here for people to listen to music, and a uh, radio right here, uh, again, for music and stuff like that. And then over here, I got a Nuka Cola machine and a plant in the corner, because why not? It makes it look nicer. And trash can whenever you need to throw away your drinks that you get from the bar. So, yeah, if we move on upstairs, 
this is kind of like a little storage area for the bar slash clubhouse area. I'm still working on it. You gotta put some more containers up here to add to the whole, con uh, not container, but the whole storage room area feel. So there's like an ice cooler right here so you can have like ice cold drinks, who knows. And right here I have two heavy laser turrets, again, just to watch over the front gate. Because if I don't have these here, people can just walk right in and, you know, we don't want that. As you can see from Spectacle Island 1.0, I actually had Super Mutants spawn right in front of me, and it was ridiculous. It made for a great video, though, not going to lie. The uh, Super Mutants spawning right in front of me. But anyway, moving on, moving on from that, we crossed this little bridge. This is the uh, bar owner's, like, little apartment on top of his, uh, on top of his bar. So, yeah. He's got like a little balcony he can look over there. He's just kind of out here. We got a grill, a uh, little chair right here if he wants to sit down, have a drink, and just kind of look over the entire island, which I'm not going to lie, from right here, this is a great view. So anyway, moving on from this, we're going to go into the little apartment here, and you can see he's got a little living room. This chair just is a sit down right here, and just going to look out over it this way. And you got a little lamp in the corner. Got some lamp, yeah, some lamps in the corner, because you can't really put ceiling lights on this type of roof, because they just kind of morph into it. It just looks really weird, and I, I don't think I'd really want that. And over here, I really like what I did with this little storage area for the bar over here. As you can tell, he's also got some shelving over here and some stuff like that. Got some crazy stuff going on over here. Got a Minutemen flag, and I really like what I did behind here with the stairs. As you can see, I got a bunch of little containers behind the staircase, and it looks just really cool. And over here is where the bar actually is, as you can see. If we come over here, there's a ghoul standing here. What's up, settler? Or ghoul, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, you got the chairs and the tables, just in case you ever buy your drink. You can just come sit down and enjoy it. And this is where the guy who uh, sells the drinks is pretty much at. So moving on to the bar, we're going to go ahead and take a little look at what's going on over here. Again, this is the main entrance for the settlement. The bar and the clubhouse are kind of like the two first things that you would see whenever you come in the settlement. So yeah. So just having a little overall look, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of panorama of what's going on over here. As you can see, that's what's going on. But anyway, I got a wall that actually blocks off this house all the way around just to, you know, keep it from... Because this, this house right there is terrible. I got a little turret up there just kind of defend the inner courtyard area of the place. And as you can see, this is the... The shed that comes with the place is like the little greenhouse over here, and this is the shed. But I use the greenhouse as a little storage area for all the settlers. If they want to put their stuff in here, they can. As you can see, I've got shelves on the right wall, and on the left wall, I've got all the containers. And if we move on out of there into this little uh, workshop area, this is pretty much where all the workbenches are and everything. i got an armor workbench, a weapons workbench, little like tool box, some little boxes right here, just stuff over here. Get a power armor station over here if I need to repair any power armor. I'm actually take some power armor and put it over here just to, you know, add on to the feel of the place. But anyway, moving on from that, we're going to go over here into the Vault Tech Rep's house. So as you can see, I got this little, like I said in the beginning of the video, I got a little bit of inspiration from No Respawn's channel, and this right here is what I'm talking about, is this little store type thing. Instead of having just a uh, little, uh, what's it called, a little stand for your, uh, okay? Anyway, instead of just having a stand for your uh, traders or whatever, you can have like an entire little like, little shop area for them. So as you can see, you kind of build this little shack out of this and use the rug glitch to get the uh, the trader stand thing just to kind of perfectly fit in here like that. And anyway, it just looks really cool. I really like it. So yeah, no response if you're watching this. Great designs for your stuff. I've seen a couple of your videos and it's pretty awesome just to see some of the designs you have for your settlements and uh, everything like that. So moving on to the Vault Tech Rep's house up here. Instead of having like you know, like a, uh, what's it called? Instead of having like a door and some stairs coming down here, I actually have the stairs right up under the house. It's just really cool. Instead of uh, having to open up a door and go in your house, you can just come right up the stairs into the house. And as you can see, the Vault Tech Rep has a pretty fancy little house going on. Because I guess you can say he's kind of like the second in command, just because he's a tier four vendor. I kind of see him as a special settler and everything. So he's got a terminal in here. He's got a uh, living room over here, a Minuteman flag on the wall, just a little bit going on, cooking stove, bobblehead stand, just in case he wants to collect any bobbleheads. And yeah, that's pretty much just what's going on up here. So if we go back downstairs, uh, if we go to the right, this is actually a little farm area right here. We got a little picket fence going around here. I uh, kind of like with I like the way the picket fence looks right, right there. It's not really that fortified, but you know, whatever. It just looks really cool to me. And moving on from that, it doesn't really matter back there anyway. But over here, is kind of like the deck area. This is a uh, this is gonna look a little familiar just because in Spectacle Island 1.0 I built this deck up here just like that because I just wanted to add on to like because if you notice whenever you're uh, going down to the bottom deck over here it has like a huge drop off just going straight down pretty much down to here so I was like I'm gonna extend the deck out a little bit this way and just have it look really nice so I did that and I really like the way this turned out and as you can see again this is where the Vault Tech Rep goes up into his store.
But anyway, this is the scavenging station right here. This is the barracks right here. And as you can see, I really like the way these buildings turned out because I got the vault Tech Rep's house kind of on top of the barracks in a way. And if we go upstairs into here, you get the same design as the other house. And as you can see, this is the barracks. This is where all the beds are for the regular settlers. And then for my special the people that are special to me, I just kind of put them right there where they can sleep and stuff. And then again, this is the deck and a windmill right there. I think it, yeah, I think this was here in the 1.0 build. I'm pretty sure it was. And down here, I a lot of you notice this too, but people like settlers will not walk across this at all. And a lot of you said just put a rug right there, it'll fix it easily, but it doesn't, and it just never will work. So I took the uh, guy out of here and just have this as a little lounging area. Since no settlers can come in here, I guess you can kind of say this is my little lounging area basically. And right over here is the place for like a little outdoor dining area right over here. And if we actually head over this way, for all the smokers that who like to smoke, they can get a they can sit down on this little bench, have a nice little area to sit down and have a nice view of the settlement. As you can see, it looks really cool from right here. And I said I'm pretty sure I mentioned that there was like a little bit of a back entrance going on with this. So basically what that means is I stopped the wall right here and you can kind of go up these little stairs right here, go through here along the deck, and go all the way over here, and you can kind of get out of the settlement a little bit and head over to the uh, actual power station over here. So what this does is, again, I'm gonna show you guys the little circuit breaker, how it's a little bit broken, and as you can see, it kind of pokes through the uh, floor here because it's half on top, half on bottom, but I got like five generators in there and the circuit breaker right there, and I got one wire coming out and just goes all the way around the settlement and uh, branches out everywhere. Not really a glamorous look of the uh, mayor's house from the back here, but it does the job. It looks really cool though anyway, even though it's not the most glamorous looking building. It's like just a big square or whatever. But yeah, it's just, I really like the way the settlement's turning out overall. And oh my god, what is this guy doing? Okay, settler. <laughs> I like how, yeah, we're gonna end the video on that note right there, that that settler is like Slenderman. He just kind of stands up there with a silhouette of himself and just kind of looks at you. But anyway guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for Spectacle Island 2.0. So if you do enjoy this video, drop a like down below, subscribe for more. I would definitely catch you guys in the next one. And this guy is really creepy, and peace out everybody.